hello, hello. Laura Whitfield here, your independent Sensi consultant with Laura's Aroma Retreat. I'm back with you again today at long last from behind the mountain. <laughs> okay, I had been promising this to you guys for some time, but I'm going to be straight up honest. You guys, I've been in a funk. I have straight up been in a funk. So pretty much ever since Thanksgiving, I was feeling a bit sideways. And then I made the ultimate mistake to plan two back-to-back -back family fun events um, with the kids. And one night we did this like a maze lights festival thing. It was really freaking cool, right? It was absolutely cool. And we went with one of my sisters, my nephew, um, my best friend for the last 30 years, his wife and their kids, like we all went together. And then we went out to dinner afterwards, which was, it was phenomenal. It was really, really great. Um, and then we went to Brookfield Zoo um, outside of Chicago with all of my sisters, <laughs> all of my sisters for the Zoo Lights event, okay? So by the time Sunday rolled around, I was, I was just feeling down. I was feeling really blah. It was really hard. Um, to go to these family fun events. I mean, the kids had an absolute blast. So, of course, mom sucked it up and did this. Um, but it was really difficult for me, especially because, like, they're all an hour from my home. So, the kids fell asleep in the car afterwards because it was all evening activities because of lights. And that is a long time to be stuck in my head, in the car, in the quiet. No bueno. So, I've been meaning to get to this. I've been meaning to get this, but again, like I said, I've been in a really odd mental space, but we do leave for Florida tomorrow. Okay. By the time this airs, I will already be in Florida because I've got a couple other videos that I've done over the past couple of weeks that I have yet to upload here. Um, honestly. So like I've done some lives in my community group. Um, I will post a link for you in my community group down below because like, if you want to see things as they're happening um, in my life a lot of the time, that's the place to be. That is the best place to be, to see everything. It's also where I do some special exclusive things, like early access for my friends to bring back my bar, okay? Um, so I will probably post this Sunday. So you still have a chance to maybe have over to my group if you want early access to bring back my bars. I'm allowing people to choose up to three bars of their choice this time um, for early access bars, okay? So make sure that I leave the link for my group down below for you. And if you are not in my community, I want you in my community. Even if you're a consultant, okay? You are welcome in my community. Everybody is welcome in my community because it's just freaking fun, okay? I try to make it as fun as possible for everybody who is in there. But in the spirit of not being here for an hour because I really do need to get some sleep tonight. Um, Nuggy has been homesick the past two days. So she just randomly started throwing up. Um, no fever, no stuffy nose, no cough, and no nothing. Like we were getting ready to leave for school on Monday morning. Like we literally had coats and shoes and everything. Like backpacks were on. Like we're ready to walk out the door. And all of a sudden she goes all over the floor. And I'm like oh my God, like literally we're going to be late to school. So I had enough time to like quick clean up the vomit, wipe the baby off, run upstairs to get my big kid. And I'm like, okay, I need you to just help your sister brush her teeth and snuggle her until I get back. I've got to take Haley to school. So I got her to school. She's right as rain all day Monday, right? Like she's riding her bike in the house. She's jumping off furniture. She's and I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever it was, was just a fluke. Maybe it's just because she was a little stuffy. I forgot to fill their humidifier at bedtime. Bad plan. Um, I'm thinking it's just that, right? So, so last night, like I get the kids down, I've got some stuff done, whatever. I'm finally sitting on the couch to unwind, like do a little scroll through Facebook. And I hear the bedroom door open and I'm like, there she goes. She's sneaking into my bed. Like I know where she's headed. And then all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, holy shit. Oh no. So I race my butt up the stairs. Okay. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like anticipating that I'm going to accidentally walk into this huge puke pile. Right. 
Man, my four-year-old is a champion. She is a champion. I am super proud of her and sorry for the gross intro. Um, she, not only did she make it to the bathroom, everything landed in the toilet. Like I was, oh, thank you, God. Like <laughs> I don't do vomit. I do a lot of things. Vomit is not on that list. Um, so whatever. So she upchecked with the best of them. Of course, and then I'm like on high alert half the night because I'm like, oh my God, she's in my bed now. Is she going to like sit up and puke on me? I will have a panic attack. She didn't, by the way. So whatever. So I kept her home today. And of course, whatever, I think whatever it was, she's got out of her system because she's acting like nothing happened today. She's right as rain. And I'm like, something must have just like been bugging her stomach that she just had to get out. Um, I'm grateful that she's not actually like sick sick because we get on their very first airplane ride tomorrow. So wish me luck. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So all right, long overdue empties. I actually have like a huge box next to me for all my recycle. Um, I am going to share the one non sensi item with you guys. So um, I did share a scoopable wax haul. I did just a small one. I think I got like four of them or whatever with you guys. Was it last month? I think it was last month. So anyways, so I did share that with you and I put warm campfire Noel into my kitchen warmers today. Um, and it was actually Catherine King's haul video of her scoopables that made me go, oh yeah, I have those. They're in my closet. I'm going to go get one. So I do actually enjoy the scoopables. I'm going to be 100% honest. I like the fact that these are a really nice, super soft wax. They are a bit messy on the spoon. Like you have to scoop it out with a spoon and then you got to like scooch it off with your fingers. So uh, you just need a paper towel after you're done. It's really not a big deal. Um, but because these are so soft, we don't have, I don't have any trouble melting these in my warmers and my sensing warmers because I don't have any like knockoff Walmart warmers or anything like that, they operate at a much higher temperature than what our warmers do, which is why you'll find like soy wax melts and stuff don't do well in our warmers because that's a much harder wax. These are super soft. Um, this is warm campfire Noel. It's supposed to be campfire marshmallow, warm vanilla sugar, and vanilla bean Noel. Um, it's really just vanilla. It is a much stronger vanilla. It, it, it's, I get no campfire what, from it whatsoever. I was hoping it had a little more of a smoky note to it, but it's really just vanilla marshmallows. It's not unpleasant, but it's not what I was hoping for. So I've enjoyed this thoroughly. It, it's doing very well. It melts like a powerhouse. It lasts for hours. That's the other thing too. Like <clears throat> I hear a lot of people's reviews on vendor wax, like you get like four to six hours and then it's done and you've got to change out your wax. And I'm sorry, I have too many warmers for that. Um, these seem to last quite a while. So I put this in this morning. It's still going right now. I'm pleased with that. Um, if it's gone in the morning, I really don't care. <clears throat> Clearly, I have enough wax. Like, I'm at no shortage, right? I can change my wax every day, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. So this is, it's very pleasant. I would probably use this more as a mixer than on its own going forward and I'm thinking because I also got that espresso donut one that's really bitter like espresso is very bitter I'm thinking I might try to mix like a scoop of this with the espresso one and see if I can make the espresso one palatable for me but I won't buy a bunch of this truthfully um but I would probably do another haul with these guys um it is scoopabletartwax.com um, I would do another haul. I would do another haul. I've been very pleased with a couple of these that I have worn thus far. The only one that I'm not keen on that I got was that espresso donut. And it's just because I didn't realize espresso was bitter. Like I was going for like a smooth, creamy coffee, um, type fragrance. Um, <laughs> yeah, me and my nighttime. It's my bedtime cup. It helps me wind down. I'm immune to caffeine. We know this. Um, so anywho, espresso is not, it's not smooth and creamy and delicious like this is, right? Like it doesn't have that same kind of coffee fragrance to it, which I didn't know I don't drink espresso. I just drink a lot of K-cups throughout my day and iced coffee and all of that, that kind of thing. So this is good. I, I, like I said, I will try to use this as a mixer. 
I would haul with them again. I would haul with them again. Um, and Catherine did show off a couple <clears throat> that I might be interested in getting uh, just to check them out. There was a lavender one that she was talking about. I do like me a good lavender. So we'll see. But that is still in use. Um, I'm not even going to try to do non-wax first necessarily. But I got a couple things sitting out here. <coughs> Gosh, I cannot stop doing that like dry cough thing. I've got a couple counter cleans in here. Okay. Um, like I was tell I was telling you guys before, and I don't remember which video or how long ago it was, right? Like I've had a lot of people in and out of my house. Um, like for Thanksgiving and stuff, like I had a house full of people. Um, when I was out in Florida, my mom was here and she was, you know, helping watch the kids and help watch the dogs when I went to say goodbye to my grandmother. And like I I don't know how so many counter cleans got opened, but I had like this wide variety of them. So they were just kind of like people were grabbing different counter cleans and I was finding open ones. <coughs> God dang it. What is up with me? Um, I was finding different open ones all over the place. So squeeze the day is one of them. Um, I guarantee you my mom opened this because this is her favorite counter clean. This is a bright, fresh lemon scent. So I can pretty much guarantee that uh, because it was... I don't know, probably about here. By the time I got back from that um, that stint in Florida. So I'm guessing this is what she was using to clean everything, which is totally fine. Um, so we got through bottles, squeeze the day. That's gone. Um, is that a dish soap or a counter clean? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm not going to upset the apple cart. But I do think that there's one more counter clean in there. Um, I did finish, sort of. Okay, sort of. Um... So I've got two oils here, okay? One is toasted vanilla cranberry and one is peppermint vanilla. Both of these oils are ones that I have been using on a rather consistent basis, okay? But this month, because we have this incredible, incredible deal on our diffusers, okay? And you can pick any diffuser and for $10 more, okay, you will get 12 bottles of our oil. So... Two of them will be in the 15 milliliter size, so this size, okay? Um, and then you're, it's going to be eucalyptus and lavender, so your staple diffuser oils. And then you get 10 5 milliliter mystery oils. I definitely used my rewards to get the, the, uh, the last diffuser that I've had my eye on and that I've been holding back on because I'm like, I want the mystery oils, right? Like, I like a good surprise. I love a good surprise. Um, so what I did for my Happy Meal this month, um, and I don't typically include oils because I know not everybody diffuses oils, but like, I want to start introducing my, my people to our fragrance oils. Like, I think this is a really untapped, hidden thing, right? And you don't have to do the premium diffuser, okay? Those are total eye candy. They're beautiful. Like, absolutely stunning, beautiful, okay? Um, and you won't regret that purchase, honestly. And <clears throat> they're phenomenal, okay? Um, but you can get our deluxe diffuser and our deluxe diffuser is probably one of my favorites anyways. So that water reservoir can run for up to 24 hours. It's brilliant. It's absolutely fabulous. And Sensi is the only one that still offers you that lifetime warranty, even if you use non-Sensi oils in their diffuser. Okay. Um, I do have a wholesale account with doTERRA. I'm not a seller. I don't sell doTERRA never have like it, I just do it for my discount they have a, a separate like package it's 25 bucks for the year and then I get the discount and the points and all that stuff off my essential oils because um I use more than just fragrance oils right like I put on guard on the kids feet you know in order to keep them I don't know is an immune booster I I love their their breathe combination right like when you're feeling stuffy or you're feeling under the weather breathe is amazing I love their blends um my older child has bad insomnia I get her the serenity gel caps and stuff and they help her sleep so like there's a lot of other things that doTERRA offers 
that are outside of fragrance that, that we use on the regular. But if I were to put Scentsy oils in one of doTERRA's diffusers, which, mind you, are teensy tiny, and they only run for about six to eight hours, um, <clears throat> that would void my warranty, hands down. Because I've had their diffusers before, and they do break, right? Like, um, I did have my deluxe diffuser replaced from Scentsy once, I got it in my shooting star kit two and a half years ago. It lasted me two and a half years. Um, on my doTERRA diffuser, I was lucky if I even made it close to a year, okay? They don't last that long. They just don't. Sensi makes a phenomenal, incredible, knock-it-out-of-the-park product in the diffuser department. And they stand by it. So I can use all of the things that I like to use in our diffusers with no worry, okay? So what I did with the two oils, because I was, you know, through a good chunk of these, I did do oil samples um, for my people in my happy mail this month. Um, I chose peppermint vanilla. And again, these are ones that I had open. This is lovely. I love peppermint vanilla. It smells exactly like you think it should. It's kind of like vanilla mint, but a little more of the peppermint side. But it diffuses lovely. It's very peaceful. I like this in my bedroom. I like mint in my bedroom, we know. Um, but I do like to diffuse this in my bedroom. And like I said, I had a little bit of this bottle left. I'm like, you know what? I can just grab another one. I want to share this with everybody um, because of that special going on. And just introduce them to the oils, okay? So peppermint vanilla, very good. I do still have some of my... I've got a good chunk, honestly, it's still right about here, of my toasted vanilla and cranberry. Um, I would have done all peppermint vanilla, but because, like I said, I was working with half a bottle. This is, it's very Christmas, right? Like, I feel very Christmas about this. I have been diffusing this in my kitchen to complement whatever bakery scents that I have going. And it's got that really nice tartness of the cranberry in it, along with that little hint of sweetness from your vanilla. And it does have like this toasty, nutty undertone. It's it's lovely in the kitchen. It does great in my kitchen. Um, and it complements a lot of my bakery oils very well. So I did make this the other sample that I put out there. <coughs> All right. Steel. Guys, I've got three stacks. I got three stacks on the side of the basket. And then we've got here. We'll just we'll just address the big boy over here. Um, I did get through a laundry system in jammy time. I love jammy time. But I gotta tell you, like jammy time was my all-time favorite. And now that I've been using fluffy fleece, and I'm like, it's great, but it's not as great as fluffy fleece. <laughs> It's just not like nothing can compare now. I will still use jammy time, right? Like jammy time's a good one. I'm not anti jammy time in any way, shape or form, but the powerhouse that fluffy fleece is on my laundry. I'm like, well, it's not quite as good as fluffy fleece because <laughs> I'm now spoiled. I am spoiled rotten by fluffy fleece laundry. Um, but I have, I have some laundry I need to get through, right? Like, I do. So, finished out jammy time. That's good to go. Um, we did, or, ooh, I think I paired this. I had a pink day. Let me see where else my other stuff is. I did a pink day. It's all kind of like, and the kids, the kids, you guys. Okay, so I've been putting my, I put my empties basket on the new hutch that I've got which I still have to like go to Sherwin-Williams and buy the, the, the paint for the big room. I don't have any of that gray color left <clears throat> so that I can paint where I need to so I can move the hutch where it belongs, okay? But because it is in the big room and their playroom where I had this sitting, um, Nuggie's been taking the bars and like her, her bike that her meme got her has this little seat on the back for her dolls. She's been filling it with Scentsy bars. <laughs> so she's riding around doing Scentsy deliveries on her bike with my empty clams. So, um, <clears throat> I don't even know if I have the other bar. So I did do a pink day, okay? I had two bars of pink cotton and one bar of pink sugar berry mint going. Um, I know that we're not even at Christmas, but I have been... I don't know if it's part of my funk and my feeling sad that like I needed something bright 
to bring up the mood in the house, right? Like, I love Christmas scents. I do. I love all my pine. I love, um, I don't know. I do. I love the Christmas scents. I love the fall scents. Like, I, I like all of those powerhouse, um, cozy fragrances. But, like, man, this past week, I just haven't been feeling it. Like, I needed something bright. I needed something bright in the house. So I put pink sugarberry mint in the kitchen. Now, if I'm being honest, I would do this through the whole house, but because I melt it so frequently, I don't even have enough bars in my stash to do it through the whole house. So like I only put one bar in my club, right? I'm thinking like, Chih, it's a shoe in. Pink sugarberry mint's coming back. It's the bomb.com. And then it's all in clearance. And I'm like, mother trunker, I should have put two. But I put one. I put one. So I, I will always have access to this, but I don't have enough bars to do it in the whole house. So pink sugar mint, And then pink cotton, which I also, you guys, I don't think this is coming back. I don't think it's coming back. If it comes back, it'll only be bar. It won't come back in anything else. I'm so glad I put this in my club. Like, I learned my lesson, right? Like, I am not going to experience another Scentsy Heartbreak. I refuse. But Pink Cotton is this beautiful, like, berry laundry fragrance. But it is so uplifting and comforting all at the same time. It's just wonderful. Um. Okay, I've got some pods sitting out over here. We'll just grab these guys and get through them. Um, right now, I have... So, what I got through was some Bonfire Beach. Um, I had this going, where did I put this? I put this in the laundry room. And I think ultimately it was because these were like half used pods. I'm gonna be honest, I suck at remembering to charge my Sensi Go. <laughs> I do, like I don't take it with me everywhere, right? Like the mini fan stays in my car. Um, and I usually take the Sensi Go when we're going places, like we're going to be out and about. I wanna use the light. Um, kind of thing. And I had these in my Scentsy going. I'm like, well, they're not dead. They're still not 100% dead, but I can't smell them in my laundry room anymore. So um, Bonfire Beach is done for. And I did replace the laundry room fragrance with Swirling Snowflakes. This is part of the Holiday 3 Bar Collection. Um, it reminds me very much of that frosted vanilla that we have in catalog right now but it's not quite as powdery. Something about frosted vanilla is very like, it's like a powdery cotton that's really kind of funky to me. But this is like the perfect balance of that cool, crisp mint, that fresh air kind of thing. This is a good one. Um, I don't think it's necessarily club worthy. We've got enough minty fragrances that I don't feel like, oh my God, I can't live without it. But it's it's going good in my laundry room. It smells great. It's perfect for that space because it is fresh and clean um, and enjoying that. Um, let's see. Out of my out of my air purifier. Oh, I forgot. I will have to walk into the big room. I forgot to grab my air purifier. My filter. Um, I had my hollow coconut going. <laughs> and I have no idea why the sticker is missing off of this. So I had these pods in my upstairs closet because I have a stash of like hidden pods that I won't share with people when they come over. <laughs> Same thing with wax bars, right? Like if I can get it again, I leave it out. And I knew I had family coming. I had guests coming for Thanksgiving, right? I made sure my hidden stash stayed hidden. Um, and Mahalo Coconut has, has been up there, right? Like I won't share these. And I think one of the kids took the sticker, if I'm going to be honest, because it wasn't in my car. It was in my air purifier. So these ones are dead. I do love it. It's fresh. It's bright. It's beachy. It's coconut. It's fabulous. Um, and I did replace it with Fiji flower. Okay. I made myself a promise this year that I will not hoard. I will not hoard. There is no sense in me having like 10 pods in Fiji flower if I never, ever use them, right? Like I can't do that. I can't be like, but I'll never get it again. I have to use what I've gotten in clearance. So, <laughs> and I had hesitation, you guys. Like I love Fiji flower so much that I bought 10 pods in a clearance sale. And then I'm like, I can't use it. It's not coming back. Stop it. 
stop at Laura Jean. So I was like, no, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it, watch me go. Okay, all right, I'm down to nine. <laughs> I'm loving it, <laughs> I'm loving it, right? Like I can't just hoard the bods to like, I'm only just gonna keep it to snip. And I have the bar in my club, that's how stupid I am. I have the bar in my club and I've still been hoarding pods. <laughs> that's how I feel about Fiji flower. Mm. Okay, um, let's talk bars. Uh, right up top, and I'm sure there's two of these. Again, dude, Nuggy and her bike pillaging. I've even got more pods up top. Um, I know that there's more bars of this. This is the scent of the month, cinnamon pine cones. It's horrendous. I'm sorry. This scent is freaking awful. Um, <laughs> it's beyond terrible. I, it's like, okay, so... I was at Michael's the other day, right? And I'm, I walked up to the pine cone bin. Like they have a pine, it's a cardboard box, right? But it's filled with all of the pine cones with the spice and whatever. And I'm like, this is after I've made samples of this bar. And I'm like, I'm just going to sniff it and make sure that it's not my mind playing tricks on me. So <clears throat> I pick up the pine cones and I'm like, no, these are okay. These are pleasant. This is a nice mix a nice fragrance this is like somebody walked up and dumped the sam's club size like this big bottle of cinnamon onto the pine cones and then like mashed it in really good i'm like it's so bad i'm so sorry it is horrible if you love cinnamon if you love that red hot burn your nostril cinnamon this guy is up your alley i never want to see that bar in my house again <laughs> Never. Um, I still have bars from my scent and warmer of the month kit um, that I am trying to get rid of. So it's now a joke. It's now a joke with some of my sussy sisters. <laughs> like she screenshotted an order that she was putting in with a six pack of cinnamon pine cones. And she's like, oh, see Laura, girl after your own heart. And I'm like, I'd have just sent it to her for free to get it out of my house. Like, please, I will give these to you. <laughs> just tell me where to mail them. I will pay for the postage. I do not ever want to smell that bar again. It's awful. It's so bad. Um, it is. It's just that bad. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. Back to my I've been feeling fruity and fresh this week. Um, and surprise, like I took a break on Dumbo. Are you guys proud? Because like we couldn't do a single empty without Dumbo in it for a long time. Um, I did put this one up into the girls room though. It was their room in their bathroom. I just wanted, God, I love it. Um, again, bright, fresh, fruity, this vanilla citrus. Ah, Dumbo will never come to my club. Um, okay. It looks like I did have, okay. I look, see, it's not all fresh and fruity. Okay. I've got a three, three bar combo here and I did one, two, three. So kitchen, front room, living room. All right. So in the kitchen, graham cracker crunch. Um, again, this is one <laughs> like, I've been, hmm, we, I was like addicted to it. I'm still addicted to it. Right. Um, but I'm like, okay, Laura, you've got to melt other things. You can't just show off only peanut butter and Dumbo all the time. Like you've got to, you've got to show a variety of things. So, but I did, I did do graham cracker crunch in the kitchen. This is just like a warm, delicious peanut butter cookie. Ugh. That will go in my club at the end of the season. If it makes that discontinued list every month, two bars, hands down, I have to have it all. Um, in the big room, I did do Around the Campfire. So I hadn't done Around the Campfire in a while. And like, I love these smoky, campfirey smells. I really truthfully do. And for the longest time, like the only candle that I would ever purchase um, was that, um, like that fireside candle from Woodwick. Okay. Um, James liked the crackling noise. Now, I don't, I don't burn candles. This is like pre-Haley. So what are we talking like? six years ago but that is the only candle really that I would purchase and put in the house is is that fireside one I still love it I still absolutely love it I will say that I don't know for some reason it feels very heavy this year to me and maybe it has again maybe it has to do with my mood and the fact that like I feel heavy 24 7 
my mind feels heavy, my mood feels heavy, my heart feels heavy, like, I don't know, like, it's really, really good, but it does remind me of that fireside candle that he loved so much, and I, I don't know why I'm having a hard time with it, like, I'm smelling it in the clam, and I love it, and I love it while it's going, but, like, it's just not one that I'm gravitating towards this fall and winter for some reason, um, this is in my club. This is Plum and White Woods. This will never come out of my club. This is from my original Bring Back My Bar. And I did that here in the front room. And it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's this sweet plum with just that, that really nice birch note in the background. Hey! No. Knock it off. Kit Kat. Kylo. Um with that really nice birch and it's not like a smoky fragrance it's it's like literally just this this beautiful birch wood i'm gonna throw stuff at you quit it <coughs> um beautiful birch um let's see i did do a bar of candy cane buttercream so i did not get my hands on it the first when it first launched okay um when i am placing pre-orders or i take pre-orders from my friends and my family and my customers and whatever, um, I always place their order first and circle back to mine, okay? I always go last. Normally, it's not an issue, but this collection was so dang good that by the time I got to place my own order or circle back to place my own order, it had sold out, okay? So we're talking under 20 minutes. It was sold out. So I did throw candy cane buttercream into my club. Um, originally, it did tell me it was on back order, I wasn't sure when it was going to show up, whatever, um, but they did end up sending it out to us and I did pick up a couple of bars. So this is, and you'll probably see my, my unboxing video <laughs> for when it restocked before you see this. So you already know, okay, that I bought four sets of the buttercream collection for myself. Okay. I did like and it's in my club. Okay. So let's, no judgment. Um, this is a judgment free zone. We don't judge sunsy addicts here. We welcome you. Please feel free to join my community down below. Um, so anyways, um, a Sunspirations buttercream collection. This, this is strong. It is powerful. It is the perfect, perfect, like peppermint frosting. And, and it's it, like, it's a peppermint cupcake. It's so good. And I actually, okay. So when we went to Winterfest there, I didn't even know that there was like this artisan cupcake shop in the downtown area. Like I had zero idea. Um, totally bougie upscale joint. Like I paid way too much for a, a six pack of cupcakes, but I don't regret my decision because they were delicious. And they had this like peppermint hot chocolate cupcake. Okay. It was to die for. They actually mix in. So we have a coffee shop in that same little strip um, called Old Dog Coffee House. And they actually get their coffee to infuse in their chocolate cupcake batter. Oh, I need a six pack of just that peppermint mocha one. This is what the frosting smells like. Just add chocolate. It was so good. So decadent. Like their cupcakes were super moist. Like a lot of the time, sorry if you hate that word, by the way, a lot of the time when you go to those upscale places, like the cupcake is still dry. Like they do fancy things and fun flavors, but the cupcake itself is dry. It was not, it was the perfect freaking cupcake. All six of them were the perfect freaking cupcake. So I will, I will be returning and I, not frequently. Okay. <clears throat> but it will be a special treat every now and again to go back to the cupcake shop but I think I'm going to have to make one more trip while they're still making that peppermint mocha one because, oh, so good. I will say this, though, about that. Um, it reminds me a bit of apple cherry strudel because it is fabulous while it's going for like six to eight hours. And then all of a sudden you walk back into the room and you're like, wait, where did it go? Like it just, it's gone. But it is worth every minute that it's going. Okay, um, Master Bedroom did a bar of Maui Mist. Again, this is in my club. This smells like incense. It smells like an incense stick. Sensi, please give us like an incense collection. Um, we have a Bring Back My Bar coming in. I can't remember which one it is that says it's got frankincense and myrrh, right? Like that is an amazing incense stick. Um, 
we have a bring back my bar that has patchouli in it <laughs> super excited for that um this is along the same lines it's that that incense that like we need an incense collection i need it in my life take me back to high school where i had what was it teen bop or teen magazine or whatever like i used to cut out the words and i taped them to my door like please take me back to high school just not because i ever really want to be back in high school right like life didn't get real good until my 30s but the fragrances uh of this high school hippie chick amazing off the chain okay um i did do a bar of a blackberry spice um, you can see that this one is for sure full of really good fragrance oil because it's already gummy. Um, a little bit on the bottom. This is good. This is good. I think I did this in the big room. Um, it is a spice that I can get behind. It's not one where I would be like totally heartbroken if I never had it again. And it's making me want to sneeze. But I enjoy it while it's going. I do. I enjoy it while it's going. It's kind of similar to Welcome Home for me right? Like welcome home is in our spice category. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I enjoy it while it's going, but it's not like I would be heartbroken if I never had it. Oh, look, here is another set of pods. Um, oh, these came out of the hallway. Da -da -da. <clears throat> okay. So in the hallway, in my entry spot, like there is no, nobody uses the front door if you want to know the truth, because like my front door faces the street, but my driveway is over there off the kitchen. So everybody just comes in through the garage. <laughs> it, it is the truth. But in that entry hallway, okay, I have a little foyer, but there is no outlet in the foyer specifically. So it's not like I can set up a warmer, but there is in the hallway an outlet where I keep a wall fan diffuser because obviously the kids are running through there. The dogs are running through there. The cats are going through there. Like I, there would be wax at in central, like that whole wall would be covered in wax. So I use the wall fan diffuser there because they are durable, wax free. I had lavender cotton going. Lavender cotton is super, super strong. I picked this up, I think in a flash sale or a clearance sale hurt my heart to see it because this is one of the best performing pods ever which makes no sense because in laundry it sucks but in pods it is a boss <laughs> and then I replaced it with maple vanilla glaze so I am I'm not keen on these pods I'm just not like I'm not keen on this fragrance at all it is too it's just spicy maple like there's no I can't get anything else out of this. It's not my jam. But in that high traffic hallway, like it's not going to hurt anything. I got the pods. I might as well give them a fair shake. Um, so I did put them in the, the hallway there. Okay. Um, I did manage to get my hands on one bar of St. Knickerdoodle before it sold out because I did want to give it a try. I didn't get sense of the season this year. I didn't. I didn't get my early access bundles. I didn't order them because a lot of them, like I've smelled them before. Blue Christmas. I don't like it. Clove and Cinnamon. It's available in catalog. I really don't like that one. Um, what was the other one? I can't remember. I can't remember what the other one is, but like none of them were up my alley. St. Knickerdoodle was the only one I hadn't smelled before, so I was curious about it. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Like, I thought I was going to love this bar, right? Like, it's it was supposed to be a Christmas cookie. And it's just, like, the cinnamon in it is too much. It's like Wassel Wonderland meets sugar cookie. That's not my favorite. I, I can't do it. So, the whole sense of the season collection was a dud for me. It's not my gig. <sighs> All right, let's talk about the monsters. <laughs> Okay, in all fairness, this was a partial brick. I'm sure you're not surprised to see maraschino sugar cookie. Um, you guys, you guys. I have more bricks. <laughs> it's in my club. This is amazing. It is amazing. Um, I have intentionally not warmed it recently. 
um, after Thanksgiving because I don't want to like OD on this scent. You would think, well, haven't you already? You've gone through a brick. The answer is no. This is so good. It is, um, it's, it's just phenomenal. Now, I do know that the brick had sold out. I know that we restocked it and did a second pour of it. I don't know, as we're speaking, if it's still available or if it resold out. I didn't think to check. <sighs> but even when I let my sister-in-law pick the fragrance for, for Thanksgiving Day, she went with this and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Here, let me show you. <laughs> mm, it's so good. So if you have not put this in your club yet, you need to do that. ASAP before your opportunity leaves you and then you will be sad and I will not share. Okay. Just telling you, I do not share. <laughs> and then I did have, I think four cubes left of my brick and jammy time. I do have a second one. So this is a club exclusive brick. You can tell by the packaging here. I have another brick of jammy time. And again, I just, I wanted something uplifting and comforting and jammy time absolutely does that for me there's this it's like it's like this it's, it's like a lavender cotton but it's not quite lavender cotton but that freesia gives it like a sweet laundry-esque note it's just wonderful it is wonderful um so i do have another brick of of jammy time but i did do through that through the front room and the big room continuously like i just it's so good. Okay. Um, we're getting through. We only got three bars left on the side. And then we'll then we'll address the mask of it. Um, first up, bar of cutie pie cupcake. So I didn't realize when I unboxed my last club that this had been in back order. Okay. So I got this tiny box. It was probably delivered Saturday, truthfully, uh, while we were out. But I didn't open the box until Sunday, okay? I brought it in the house. Saturday, we were doing the zoo. I brought it in on Sunday. The girls had, um, we met my parents for breakfast. My mom had had the flu, so she hadn't seen the girls in a couple of weeks. And she's like, hey, can I steal the girls for the afternoon? I've got, you know, your nephew. Can they come play? And I'm like, heck yes, they can. I need a break. Um, and I opened up this box. And I immediately lost it. Like, I immediately lost it because, and I'm dreading bringing back my bar. I mean, I'm excited for it because Perk Me Up is coming back, right? Like, I'm excited for that, but I am really dreading having to do a bring back my bar sniff session without James. He's been part of every single one of them. And this is the bar from my first Bring Back My Bar that got his attention to come into that video, that very first one, and want to sniff through the rest of them with me. Like, it was the very first bar on the list. It's in alphabetical order. And, you know... When I started talking about Cutie Pie Cupcake and describing it, and he was making food behind me in the kitchen, and he wandered over to me, and he's done Bring Back My Bar with me ever since. So, it really got me. It really got me on Sunday. And when I pulled myself, like, I just sat down on the couch and I cried. Um... We're coming up to six months on the 23rd will be six months, which seems freaking unreal. And like, if I could not do Christmas, I wouldn't do Christmas, but I love my children and I'm not, I'm not going to do that to them. But I immediately got up and went into the kitchen and cleaned out my warmers and, and put this in because as sad as it made me in that moment, and it's making me now to think about having to do first sniffs without him. Um, we loved this bar, right? Like it, it brings, it brings happy memories too. Not just, not just crying, right? It brings me the happy memories of how, I'm, how much we loved it, how much he loved it. Cause he had a thing for the orange and the sweets and the, the, the cherries and 
I just immediately put it in my warmers because I had to smell it, truthfully. Oh, God. <sighs> so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be different when Bring Back My Bar comes in. Um, not looking forward to it. I am and I'm not. Okay, I don't want to say that I'm not looking forward to bring back my bar because that's not true. I'm just not looking forward to doing a sniff sesh. Okay, um, this is a bar of red berries and spruce. Um, this one came from my really good friend here on YouTube, Catherine King. She she's the sweetest lady in the entire world, you guys. Like seriously, if you have not watched Catherine King, go check her out. Um she is a Scentsy consultant. She doesn't do exclusively Scentsy. She does a lot of vendor wax. She just recently did a candle haul. Like, she's totally well-rounded, right? Um, and she probably provides way more individual content for for most people um, than I do here, right? Because I'm just mostly Scentsy all the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, <coughs> that's where my heart lies. But anyway, so she sent me this, this care package. Um... Because the first one that she sent me arrived on the day that James passed away. And I, it's all still in the box, right? Like I can't. Um, I know six months seems like a lifetime or it seems like a long time, like it's half a year. But it's not really that, it's not really a long time. So anyways, so her second care package she sent me after the fact um, did have a lot of like she had things that she'd picked up in clearance or flash sales or whatever that she wasn't using. And she knows my scent preferences well enough. And she sent me this, this awesome box, um, full of stuff and red berries and spruce was in there. So this one is in my club. Uh, she does freeze her bars. Um, and I know that she has to, so this is no offense to you, Catherine, but I don't recommend it. They get really ucky when you do that because once they rewarm up, they start to get super sweaty. But it still warmed fine. It didn't last as long as if I would have used the ones that were in my club. And I know that she lives in an older home, right? Like it's hard for her to control temperature where, you know, my home stays this consistently the same temp year round. I set my air at one spot. I set my heat at one spot. Like it stays at 71 period. <clears throat> Cause my kids like to run around with no clothes 24 seven. So, you know, my wax bars are stored a certain way to where for the most part, they really don't get gummy, um, with the way that I store them. But this one did get gummy. So it didn't last like red berries and spruce ultimately doesn't really last super, super long, but like I usually get a full day out of it. I probably got three-fourths of a day out of it. It was dead before I went to bed, but I will use every cube of red berries and spruce hands down because it is fantastic. Um, I did a bar of joy and wonder in the big room. I think this was also in her box that she sent me. So I think I did red berries and spruce in here and then joy and wonder in the big room. This is from last year's holiday collection. It again, it reminds me a little bit of crimson berry Christmas. Um, which was a brick two seasons ago, I think. Pretty sure. But this is a champ. This performs like a champ. Like I, um, on day three, I was bored. <laughs> I'm like, I got to take this out. I've already changed the kitchen. I've changed the front room. You know, it's still going. I let it go. And when I was doing my, my second wax change out on the other terms, I'm like, okay, look, Joy and Wonder, you're really good. You last forever. I'm over you now. We need to move on. <laughs> so this is just a nice, like, Christmas berry scent. Just a hint of spice. Nothing crazy. It's a good bar. It's a good bar. Um, let's see. I did cranberry orange cider. <laughs> Actually, this pot is still in my car, okay? The only reason this pod pack is inside of my house is because Haley had her first loose tooth. And she was wiggling it in the car, like she was wiggling it nonstop, let's be straight. And as we're pulling up to school drop-off, she goes, oh, Mom, my tooth came out. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this tiny little tooth? Like, it's barely, it's the easy bitsy thing in my palm. Like, what am I, where am I going to put this in the van to keep it safe? I still had to take her sister to school. <laughs> like, like, what am I going to do? So like, you know, she gets out of the car, I'm holding the tooth in my hand and I pull over. 
in the parking lot after drop off. So I'm out of the way of the other cars. And I'm like, what am I, where am I going to put this? And I'm like, oh, my pod pack. So I immediately took my, my pod out of it. And I got to get my pods out of my car, you guys. I'm terrible about bringing in my car stuff because I throw it in my door when I change it out and then I forget to bring it back in. Um, so I put her tooth in the pod bag <laughs> and I was like, this, this will work perfect. It keeps it safe. It's not going to, I'm not going to lose it. The pod pack to the rescue for the tooth fairy, let me tell you. Um, it looks like I did a bar, a set of pods, a kakui and coconut. I, I don't know when, and I don't know where it just kind of showed up. And again, my children sometimes steal my clamshells and use them for other things. Not sure. Um, let's see, what else? My sister-in-law also picked out, so we did maraschino sugar cookie in the kitchen for Thanksgiving. She picked out blue sage and tonka for the front room and sweet orange and evergreen for the big room. So we had a really nice, deep um, kind of feeling going through here. So blue sage and tonka, and you can tell, like you can tell when I didn't open the bar, <laughs> right? Like these are all, I'm sorry, I just got to point this out. Like these are popped up. So she was pop, like she was trying to like pop out one cube at a time. And I'm like, honey, let me, let me show you how to do it on this one. <laughs> like you just, you pop the whole bar out and then you just break off the cubes. But, um, so anyway, so Blue Sage and Tonka is this very deep, manly, cologne type scent kind of thing. It's a good one. Um, it's not my favorite. Like, I'd, I'd do cashmere and corduroy over Blue Sage and Tonka any day. Um, because once it starts to dissipate or once it's, like, done, it starts to get a little funky at the tail end. Just the very tail end. So, like, day three, it starts to get a little weird. But... I enjoy it in the first couple of days. And then obviously sweet orange and evergreen. We know how I feel about this. It's so good. It is, it's this wonderful, authentic pine. I don't really get the orange in it, which makes me happy because I don't want like wild for fall where it ruins all that, that glorious pine fragrance. So very good there. Um, I did a bar of Simply Irresistible in my room. This is, again, it is a fresh, manly scent, but it's got like this mint in it, like a spearmint. That's, it's so good. It is so good. That's in my club, bring back my bar. Um, I've been doing a lot of out of my club bars lately. Um, per Haley's request, we did bubble gum in the kitchen the other day. <laughs> Like, it's still going on day two. Okay, it is. Um, and it is in my club because James and Haley love the bubblegum scent. And she's just like, Mom, I want bubblegum. I'm like, you know what? Okay, let's go for it. We're going to have some fun. But man, by day two, I'm like, I am over it. I don't need to smell bubblegum through my whole kitchen. It was fun for a day, but I'm done. Um, also in my bedroom, I did a bar of coconuts for coconuts. This is a very sophisticated suntan oil. Okay. It's not sunscreen like you get in the kids section. It's a sophisticated tanning oil. Oh, and it's so good. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's a powerhouse. I'm glad that that didn't show up in clearance at all which means it'll be returning it's I'm safe I'm safe but you know I like to make space for some other things okay um today and yesterday I have pina colada cha-cha going um again I needed that uplift I needed that uplift we're about we're leaving for Florida tomorrow this is our Florida fragrance from our trip last year um I think I'm going to Florida. I needed. I just needed to smell it. Um, I don't remember doing this. A bar of Johnny Appleseed. Um, I don't, like Johnny Appleseed is fine. It's just straight Mac Apple. Um, I know it says that there's pear in here. 
We have Apple Press coming back for Bring Back My Bar. Um, Apple Press is a better version of Johnny Appleseed because it's got this whole nother layer to it that just finishes it off um, so much better. You get, you still get that bright red crisp apple, but Johnny Appleseed doesn't last terribly long anyways. And truthfully, I've been using, I was using or have been using and I've got a little bit left of our Johnny Appleseed in my carpet cleaner. I don't think I can ever melt Johnny Appleseed again because now I associate it with cleaning puppy pee. <laughs> like my big room has smelled like Johnny Appleseed for a couple of months. She's actually doing really good. Okay. During the daytime, she's fine. Um, she is afraid of the dark. <laughs> so if Storm doesn't go out with her, like she's like, I'm not leaving the porch in the dark. It's not happening. So she will go out there and then beg to come back in and then pee on my carpet. So we're working on it, but I don't think she's had an accident in about two to three days or so. So it does take a while to potty train a puppy Labradors. I think Storm took probably up to a year to fully housebreak her. So I anticipated it being the same with her. So my carpet cleaner just sits out and I use our all purpose cleaner in it because it doesn't leave my carpet crunchy. Um, the way that like a lot of carpet cleaning solutions do, like you find that it gets, sorry, I thought I heard a kid, um, too soapy and like you can't get the soap out of the carpet right with the Bissell carpet cleaners. Our all purpose cleaner is not that way. Like it doesn't suds up, um, like a dish soap kind of deal. So it cleans the carpet perfectly. It doesn't smell like pee in the area and it doesn't leave my carpet crunchy. So it's, I'm telling you, game changer on carpet cleaning, but my whole big room has smelled like Johnny Appleseed on the regular for two months now. It is now officially a cleaning product. It is not a wax bar in my house. <laughs> um, also in my room, I did a bar of Light Side of the Force. It's his favorite scent. You can tell I've, I've had that one for a little bit. It's a, just a smooge gummy but it is fresh, it is clean, it is uplifting, it is his favorite fragrance, hands down. <sighs> did a bar of very snowy spruce, no surprise. I think I did this the day, I think I did this the day after we put the tree up, because um, my father-in-law is a tad bit sensitive to pine fragrances or tree fragrances, so I waited until they headed home to melt my pine to go with my tree. <sighs> Moana, the spirit of Muktanui. Hmm. There is something about this bar and I cannot put my finger on of why it's so fantastic, but it is fantastic. And I screwed up the first time when this came out and didn't put it in my club. And then this time I did not mess up. There's just, it's like tropical paradise in a wax bar. I love this bar. That's in my club. I told you, I did a lot of club melting. I'm proud of myself. I am super, super proud of myself for getting through some of my hoard. Okay. <laughs> I am. Um, again, bring back my bar from my club, Black Current Bubbly. I have a theme. Um, I have more fresh, fruity, uplifting, um, things in my basket from the last month than, than I do fall and winter. Um, black current bubbly screwball from the ice cream truck all day long. I will never get bored with this. I probably, yep. When I do it, I do two bars. It's through the entire downstairs because I love it. Um, okay. Caramel buttercream. This was not a full bar. Okay. I made samples with this to put into like my thank you cards and to share this collection. Little did I know I didn't even need to do that because it was already so popular. I could have just hoarded the whole bar for myself, but I didn't do it. Um, so I only had, I think, three cubes left after making samples of this. And I did warm this in my kitchen. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. This is a rich, decadent, like salted caramel frosting. <clears throat> so good. So good. Um, did finish out my dish soap in Autumn Road Trip. This is from last 
harvest season, okay, I am going to tell you, like, I did not pick up the clean products from this harvest or the holiday collection. I am super sad about the fragrances that they chose to use, like apple and cinnamon stick. No, thank you. Um, and then the other one was icicles and evergreen. No, thank you. Um, yes, I know it's a cleaning product and I guess it smells like soap, but I have, have a stash from last year with very snowy spruce, perfect peppermint, autumn road trip, like I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Sensi. You can keep your apple and cinnamon sticks to yourself. Um, so I did finish out autumn road trip in my dish soap. I have since replaced it with vanilla mint. <clears throat> ah, see? Oh, oh, it's not a counter clean. It's a bathroom cleaner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. So I did finish out a bathroom cleaner and make a splash. So I, each bathroom has its own bathroom cleaner. That's why it takes me a while to give, show you guys a bathroom cleaner. Make a splash is really, really good in cleaning. Like I am not a fan of it in the wax when I'm warming it. That melon, that honeydew melon comes out and I'm like, I like fruity, but not, not honeydew. But in cleaning product and in bath product, Make a Splash was made for those lines. It is phenomenal. Um, I, this is actually the scent that I picked up. So I did a cleaning bundle for Haley's teacher for school. Like I know that she uses Scentsy Wax. Um, Haley had come home and said something about Hocus Pocus back in, what was it, October, September, something like that, being like, my teacher loves Hocus Pocus. And then she was like, can I bring her this? And it was the Hocus Pocus bar. Yeah, and I'm like, of course you can bring that to her. I'm like, I don't know if she melts wax. But um, she did send me a message through the app, the, the Class Dojo app that they use saying, hey, thank you so much for the bar. I love this. I love Scentsy, whatever. So um, our cleaning products are fantastic. And like you can use the counter clean to really clean your whiteboards and stuff. So I did stick a bar in her bag for her, but I, I gave her a set of the clean bundle because she already has wax. She already told me she has wax. Like she's got her own stash. I wanted to give her something she didn't already have. Nuggies, Nuggies teachers are getting the fragrance flowers. They're getting a two pack of fragrance flowers. And then because each of their little ones are also in the preschool, they put buddy clips inside again check out my community you can see what I'm talking about um so really it's kind of a gift for them and their kid but like I, I love the preschool teachers so much I really do <sighs> did a bar of autumn road trip no idea when but I love like this is more my style of apple right like Johnny Appleseed is not my kind of apple there's no depth to it it's just apple this has got apple and crunchy leaves and white woods and this has personality okay autumn road trip is an apple with personality um let's see i did do my sample cup finally of glacier water so i tend to save these for games and giveaways honestly um but there is this is literally one fragrance that my father-in-law is loves it doesn't mess with his eyes it's not too strong for him it's like perfect so when they were coming for thanksgiving i have the desert bloom warmer in that downstairs bedroom because it throws like a champ <coughs> so i put this cup into that warmer because previously even when i was picking a light scent he kept turning it off and turning it off and turning it off he never turned it off this time so and I knew that because when this scent of the month came out, they were here and I had popped it in and he's like, I need whatever you have. Like it is the one scent that I have found um, in a small space. Okay. In, in the big house, it doesn't really matter. But in the small space, in the bedrooms that does not irritate him. It's fantastic. So I don't even think you can get that anymore. Like I said, I put it in my club. Um, I have pods in baked apple pie. I think... I think I had these going in the laundry room off the kitchen. I, I think originally they were in a borrow bag and they had like a little bit of life left in them where I'm like, I'm not going to waste them. And because my laundry room is connected to my kitchen, sometimes I will throw a bakery-esque um, thing in there just to kind of keep the flow going. So I'm guessing that's where those came from. 
I've gone through a lot of bulbs, honestly. There's a, I stopped putting bulbs in here because it's, it's ridiculous. But when I pulled out my all aglow trees, uh, the little one had a burnt out bulb. And because I had the big green one with the green bulb on one side, I wanted to balance it. So I put the small one with the green bulb on the other side. I did a bar of fresh ice in my room. This is Olaf Warm Hugs on steroids. If you watch the video prior to this, you'll hear me referring to Olaf Warm Hugs as a mellow, mellow version of fresh ice. Mm, definitely in my room. This is available. This is, it's got that sandal one in it, which makes, gives it like this whole nother level. The fresh ice will never come out of my closet. Um, got a bar of sugared strawberry. Mm. <laughs> I think I put this in like the first day after fall. Okay. So like I had done all the first day of fall. I'd done all the heavy fall scents and I'm like, I need to clean the air. I need to reset my palette for Christmas. Um, I don't remember what the heck I paired it with. Right. Um, so sugared strawberry in my kitchen. It's a candied strawberry all day long. I love it. I've been looking for this. This has not been used. This is my travel twist and swirling snowflakes that I have been on. Like, I'm like, I know I have one. Where did it go? Thank you, children. Mm hmm. I've been looking for this little shits i'm just saying this has not been used yet i wanted to put this in my garbage can top like i went out and bought the sticky tabs i told you guys i went out and bought the sticky tabs and then i'm like i must have gifted it to somebody i mean it sold out like i thought i gave it to somebody i'm like but i bought it for me i found it tiny little devils Okay, <laughs> we have, uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. We have a full bar of mighty pine. I have not melted that yet. I will melt this. I love this. <laughs> but um, clearly, clearly Elena was, <laughs> was thinking she was helping mommy out. It was just throwing full product into the empties basket. So, <clears throat> okay, last wax bar. <laughs> Last wax bar out is gingerbread buttercream. Um, again, this was when I had made samples with. Um, it's good. It is It is a really good fragrance. I'm not a big gingerbread fan. There's a lot of spice in gingerbread. I like to eat gingerbread, mind you, as long as it comes frosted. Like, I will eat frosted gingerbread. I can't eat plain gingerbread on its own. So this is this is a good bar. I enjoy this bar. I, it's not anything that I need to have. Like, I mean, I have a hoard of it, but I have four bars of it and four bars will do me just fine. And then the last thing that I have on the table are two scent packs in Polar Bear Hugs. So I, I, I goofed up. I think you've probably already seen that video by now. I goofed up not remembering that Polar the Penguin uh, was in a shipment because he was supposed to go underneath my Christmas tree for the girls. Well, the minute he came out of the box, I was not getting him back. <laughs> they were not going to part with, with Polar. Um, he's the cutest dang buddy, you guys. <laughs> like... He's so sweet. He's perfect. He's petite. He's got his little silver bow tie, like silver in the sparkling snow. I almost want a polar the penguin for myself. And then we can all have what Elena calls a penguin. <laughs> but I wasn't getting him back, so I gave it up and handed over the scent pack. So that, that my friends, is everything. That is everything. Um, I will have this... <sighs> I've got to look at videos tomorrow. Um, I think there's two that I haven't posted yet. Um, but I got to look and I'm going to schedule some stuff for while we're in Florida. So I might hold off on one that I did until maybe I'll do the one live and then this one. And then I will unveil my mystery box while we're away. Because, like, I don't want my channel to just be dead for a week, right? Like, I, I've done that. And then I watched my analytics go... <sighs> 
And I'm like, hmm, yeah, I should probably, uh, I've got to conquer my funk, right? I got to conquer my funk. I got to keep, I, I have to stay in some sort of groove. Not that it's not okay for me to take some, some downtime and some personal time and some self-care time because, you know, if I'm being honest with you guys, I have done quite a bit of that since Thanksgiving. Um, and I've just been honest about it, right? Like I've been honest to my community. I've been honest to my customers. Like I was behind on getting out thank you cards. I'm still behind on getting out my swag bags from November. Um, that was really supposed to be done truthfully Monday, but then Elena got sick and threw up and then she was home all day. And I'm like, well, I will pack my suitcase first thing in the morning and then I got to get my swag bags out the door, right? Like I have everything for them. I just have to assemble them and get them out. Um, but I've been honest about that, right? Like I've been up front that I just, I've been in a weird space and, you know, the onset of the holidays have, you know, they're coming about as I expected, right? Where I'm going to have my ups and my downs and, you know, one minute I'm going to be doing okay and excited with the kids. And then the next minute I'm going to be like, like I have been like bawling my dang eyes out because he's not here. And it's the first Christmas that I'll ever miss. And, you know, I'm going to Florida for a funeral. Not exactly like, okay, I'm over 2022. I'm done with it. I can't take any more, so I'm hoping the next couple of weeks are gentle. Um, and I'm just going to keep working towards finding the light. Um, I'm going to take time for me when I need time for me. Um, I'm going to be kind to myself and give myself some grace. Um, and we just, I just keep moving. I don't want to say moving forward. I don't want to say moving on because I'm not, I don't feel like I'm doing any of that. I'm just... I'm not letting it swallow me whole and take over my whole life. Um, I'm giving it its time when it needs it and being okay with that. And then not letting it rule everything. And that's the best that I can do. So um, I, I don't know, I'm rambling now. So I appreciate it if you made it this far. I love you as always. Again, be sure to click the link below. If you're not in my community, I want you in my community. Everybody is welcome. And I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.